Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, Nvidia has released an official teaser, hinting at the unveiling of new GPUs, AMD is preparing key hardware launches for CES 2025, and Intel Arc GPUs surprises with test results. In addition, we'll also look at new gameplay reveals from the Game Awards 2024, and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in, and let's kick things off. First up, Nvidia has released an official teaser hinting at new GPU announcements during CES 2025. Up until now, the company had not mentioned CES 2025 on its official platforms. However, the promotional campaign for the event has now begun. Nvidia is planning a live online gaming session called GeForce LAN 50, which will take place 50 hours before the official GeForce RTX 50 announcement. The event will be streamed in major cities including Las Vegas, Berlin, Taipei, and Beijing. Additionally, Nvidia will commemorate the 25th anniversary of its first graphics card, the GeForce 256, by inviting users to experience some of the most iconic PC games. What features would you like to see in the RTX 50 series? Let us know in the comments. During the Game Awards 2024, CD Projekt revealed the first trailer for The Witcher 4, which will feature Siri as the main protagonist. This installment aims to explore Siri's story, which the developers believe has become more central to The Witcher series than Geralt's. The game will follow the established lore from the previous games, with the endings of The Witcher 3 influencing its narrative direction. In the trailer, Siri is shown as older and more hardened, having undergone the Trial of the Grasses, a process that transforms her into a stronger warrior. Her gameplay will differ from Geralt's, as she will have less experience and will be driven more by instinct and emotion. Players will be able to develop her abilities as they progress through the game. The developers are integrating gameplay mechanics from The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077, and its Phantom Liberty expansion to offer more variety. Choice and consequences will continue to be a key part of the gameplay. The trailer was created using Unreal Engine 5 and rendered on next-gen NVIDIA RTX GPUs. The Witcher 4 will be the first game in a new trilogy, but no specific release date has been announced to avoid issues similar to the launch of Cyberpunk 2077. What are your thoughts on Siri taking the lead in The Witcher 4? Share your thoughts in the comments. The Hardware Unboxed has published a detailed review of Intel's Arc B580 graphics card, comparing its performance to the GeForce RTX 4060 and Radeon RX 7600 XT in 12 modern games at Full HD and Quad HD resolutions. In the Full HD tests, the Arc B580 performed 7% faster than the RTX 4060 and 8% faster than the Radeon RX 7600 XT. It was also comparable to the Radeon RX 6700 XT. When tested at Quad HD, the ARC B580 showed even better performance, outpacing the RTX 4060 by 14% and the RX 7600 by 21%, while surpassing the RX 6700 XT by nearly 6%. However, the ARC B580's power efficiency is lower than both the RTX 4060 and the RX 7600 XT. When it comes to ray tracing performance, the ARC B580 was 20% slower than the RTX 4060 in Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered and 31% slower in Alan Wake 2. However, in Cyberpunk 2077, the Arc B580 outperformed the RTX 4060 by 14%. Pearl Abyss presented a new trailer for Crimson Desert, an open-world action game set to release in 2025. The game takes place on the continent of Pywell, a land caught in conflict, and players will assume the role of Cliff, leader of the Grey Main mercenary group. The trailer showcased a variety of locations, including areas like Quaden, known for its frequent storms, and Akafen, which features vast green expanses. The combat system was highlighted, along with enemy encounters and dragonflight mechanics, which can be used as powerful weapons in combat. Crimson Desert will be available on PC, Xbox Series, and PlayStation 5, and is already available to wishlist on Steam. What do you think of Crimson Desert's gameplay and world design? Share your thoughts in the comments. Naughty Dog confirmed that The Last of Us Part 2 will be released for PC on April 3, 2025. This version will be a remaster, not the original release, and will include all previously released content, such as the roguelike mode No Return. The PC port is being developed by Nixus Software and Iron Galaxy Studios, with a focus on optimizing the game for PC. A dedicated page for the game has already been set up on Steam, where it is noted that PlayStation Network authorization will be required to play. The original version of The Last of Us Part 2 was released exclusively for PlayStation 4 in June 2020 and received widespread critical acclaim, including a Metacritic score of 93. 
Intel is reportedly finalizing microcode update 0x114 for Z890 motherboards designed to enhance gaming performance on Arrow Lake processors. ASRock has already integrated the update into its Z890 Tai Chi motherboard, making it the first manufacturer to do so. Early tests of the Core Ultra 285K with the updated microcode yielded mixed results. While the patch is intended to improve gaming performance, it caused a drop in Cinebench R23 multi-core scores from around 48,000 to 45,000 points due to reduced clock speeds. These results suggest that Intel is still optimizing the update and may release a more refined version. The microcode update is expected to improve Arrow Lake's gaming capabilities, potentially aligning its performance with or surpassing that of Intel's 14th generation CPUs. During the Game Awards 2024, a new trailer for Dying Light the Beast was presented, revealing several important details about the game. The trailer introduces the Baron, a key figure in the story. The protagonist, Kyle Crane, returns after escaping from experiments. Players will combat large hordes of zombies using a wide range of weapons, including firearms, crossbows, flamethrowers, and machetes. The game will also feature vehicles that can be used as weapons against the undead. The signature parkour mechanics from the previous games in the series are also present. Dying Light, the Beast is set for release in summer 2025 on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms. Owners of the Ultimate Edition of Dying Light 2 Stay Human will receive the game at no additional cost. From Software revealed the first gameplay trailer for Elden Ring Night Rain, this new project is a cooperative action game set in the Elden Ring universe. Players will form teams of three to tackle various bosses, with each player controlling a unique character, possessing distinct abilities. While each character has individual strengths, the game's full potential is realized when the team works together to succeed. Elden Ring Night Rain is scheduled for release in 2025 on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox series. Which boss in Elden Ring gave you the toughest challenge? Let us know in the comments. AMD is set to unveil several new products at CES 2025, including the Strix Halo, Radeon RX 8000 series, and the Kraken Point mobile APUs aimed at budget and mainstream markets. Recent leaks have revealed the Kraken Point series, which includes an 8-core, 16-thread APU with RDNA 3.5 integrated graphics. The APU has been benchmarked in Geekbench 6.3, with scores showing a 14% increase in single-core performance compared to the Ryzen 7 8845HS. Additional configuration such as a 6-core variant featuring both Zen 5 and Zen 5C cores have also surfaced. The Kraken Point APUs have a TDP range of 15 watts to 45 watts and are expected to provide a balance of performance and efficiency. Full details on these products, along with new RDNA, 4 GPUs and the Strix Halo series, will be revealed at CES 2025. Square Enix has announced the PC release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The PC version will launch on January 23, 2025, and just under a year after the PlayStation 5 release. This version will feature several improvements over the console release, including enhanced lighting, upgraded textures, and better character models. Additionally, the game will support VRR and NVIDIA DLSS technologies for improved visual performance. Obsidian Studios presented a gameplay trailer for The Outer Worlds 2. The trailer highlighted several new locations, weapons, characters, and an expanded combat system. The game will retain the open-world exploration of the first game, but will feature a more expansive world and improved graphics. Combat will include firearms, melee weapons, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Outer Worlds 2 will be released in 2025. The game will also be available on Game Pass at launch. In addition to The Outer Worlds 2, Obsidian Studios will also release Avowed, another role-playing game in 2025. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. What features would you like to see in the RTX 50 series? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.